I'm John Kolar, Geauga Park District Chief Naturalist, and I'm out today in the vernal pools of the Westwoods looking for amphibian activity. This time of year, springtime, is a great time of year. Whether you're out here in April, May, or even into early June, you're going to see a variety of amphibians that utilize these temporary pools of water to breed and lay eggs. Today, we're going to go out and check out the pools to see what kind of amphibian life that we can find. Maybe you'll even check out what's going on at night here at the Westwood. So, are you in? You want to come along? Follow me this way. All right, I'm in one of the pools and I've discovered salamander eggs. Specifically, I believe these are Jefferson salamanders. I'm going to carefully pull these up. You can see these are the egg masses. They like to attach their eggs to sticks and other floating vegetation underneath the water. The young will stay in these pools. They'll become little uh, larval salamanders and spend most of the summer in here. Once the pool dries up, they'll lose their gills and then they will uh, head out on land to spend uh, the rest of their life on the forest floor. Only in the early spring will they come back to this pool as adults to breed and lay their eggs. So those are salamander eggs. Pretty cool, huh? I am absolutely surrounded by frogs right now. The high-pitched peeping sound that you hear are spring peepers. They're tiny little tree frogs, about the size of a nickel or so. They sure make a lot of noise, and they are such a great welcome sign of spring. If you also listen, you'll hear like a duck-like quacking in the background. Those are called wood frogs. Those are males. The spring peeper and the wood frogs are the ones that are calling. They're all calling for a mate right now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You'll see a little bit of movement on top of the water. It's kind of hard to see the frogs from this distance, but all those ripple marks that you see in the water, those are all frogs. There's some raindrops there too, but the big ripple marks are frogs. So what I'm going to do is I have my hip waders on, as you may have seen. I'm going to go in there and um, try to get a little bit closer so you can see these wood frogs up close. There's a wood frog floating on the water, and he's part of the quacking you hear around you, all around me. Whoop! <laughs> he just got chased off by another male. Whoa! There's a lot of competition in these pools in the springtime. The males will hang out here on the surface of the water, and they'll wait for a mate. Then the female will eventually lay her eggs here in the pools. And another generation will continue the wood frog legacy. Well, we have seen a lot of cool things here during the daytime. What do you say we journey into the darkness of the night and see what's here in the evening time? See if we might be able to get a closer look at some of these things. I think we will. As you can tell, it's dark outside now, and I probably should be asleep, but I hear some peeping in the background. And uh, it's raining now, so this is the perfect time to get out and find critters. I already found one. I'm going to go on a walk here at the Westwoods tonight and see what kind of salamanders and other amphibians I can find, like spring peepers, maybe some wood frogs. I already did find one of these. Hold on one second. Let me go get it. Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go. Come here, little lady. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Look at this little lady right here. This right here is a spotted salamander, and we have a small population of them here at the Westwoods. And uh, warm, you know, it's about 45 degrees tonight. Warm, kind of rainy nights like this are great nights to see these little ladies and gentlemen that are migrating to the vernal pools. Right outside the Nature Center, this is the Trout Lily Trail, and I highly recommend this trail if you come out here with your families in the evening time on a rainy night in the spring. Next up in the spotlight, we have a wood frog. Uh, a little hard to see, but on, if you look on the face of the wood frog, you see the brown right below and around the eye there. That's a good field mark for wood frogs. These frogs are just like the spring peepers. They do hibernate in the wintertime, and they become literally frozen solid. And in the springtime, they'll thaw. And um, warm, rainy nights, like I said, bring these things out. They're moving to vernal pools, uh, those pools that we see in, in the woodlands that oftentimes dry up in the summertime. Uh, these guys and gals are in and out of the pool pools within a week or two. Once they're in, they uh, breed, they lay eggs, and then they spend the rest of the year out on the forest floor, thus the name wood frog. 
Hear that noise? Nothing like spring peepers. Have a listen. Those are tiny little tree frogs. Sometimes people say, are those crickets outside at night in the springtime I'm hearing? Tiny little tree frogs. Amazing that that much sound comes out of one little frog like that. Now I'm gonna try my best here to try to get one of these spring peepers um, on film singing away. You'll see its throat uh, bulging out like a big piece of bubble gum, sort of. Let me see if I could uh, find one for you. Okay, I have a spring peeper calling. I'm going to try to zoom in on it for you. Follow the flashlight. Oh no, my battery's flashing low, low, low. Don't forget, if you come out to film uh, in the evening, amphibians and things like that, make sure you bring an extra battery. Plus, it's raining pretty hard right now, so signing off. See you later. Bye. Look who's swimming right past me in the vernal pool. We have a muskrat.